Hey, what's going on? Beef Stab Nation. How are you guys? Uh, so today's not really a fishing day. And I feel the need to make a video regarding everybody's most hated buzzword. Some people tend to, to uh, use it, overuse it, bastardize it. Um, buzzwords, I should say. Spot burning. So, one of my last videos, I actually had somebody, a total troll. I mean, when, when it really comes down to it, obviously, listen, you're doing anything on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Twatter, whatever, wherever you're posting, YouTube, there's going to be trolls. There's always trolls. They're haters. It doesn't matter what you do, whether you're into working out, whether you're into cooking, whether you're into auto mechanics, whether you're into just whatever, any type of video you're making, self-help, whatever post, for us, it's fishing. So somebody accused me of spot burning. It's all this guy said. Never seen this guy before in my life and just put spot burner. And that was it. Nothing. So not for nothing, if I find out you're lurking and you're kind of doing something like that on my uh, on my YouTube channel, you're getting blocked. I, I, I just don't have, have the time for any of that nonsense. Um, I'm taking my time out of my day, my fishing trips to put together videos that I hope, I sincerely hope are going to help people, going to help you guys figure out where the fish are and not my spot or the, the exact spot I'm in, but okay, should I be hunting around the back bay on ledges, on drop-offs? Uh, should I be in the channels? Should I be out front over structure? Should I be in the surf? I'm not a surf fisherman, but should I be in the surf? And then take all that into consideration. Should I be on the side banks? Taking all that in consideration and then determine what to use, what you're targeting, what you're going to use, and the tactics that you're going to use to, uh, to catch what you want to catch. So I got accused of spot burning. In fact, uh, the word gets so overused and uh, so blown out of proportion that a couple videos ago you saw um, Jim Hutchinson featured a picture of, uh, of mine and some of the information I put out there uh, in his weekly The Fisherman Magazine video for New Jersey and Delaware Bay. And even he joked about I'm going to watch your videos and, and burn some of your spots. Because, and and I, I didn't take that as, oh, man, he's going to try and burn me. No, I take that as Jimmy Hutchinson. Every time you turn around, there's somebody accusing him because of these putting out these, these reports that I can't wait to see every week. And I know there are thousands upon thousands of viewers, especially in our state, that cannot wait to see the reports that he puts out. So God only knows. I mean, his, his skin has to be so thick. Because the poor guy can't, he can't make, make mention of anything. And some Yahoo, who isn't worth their, their weight in bunker, is going to bust his hump about, oh, you're spot burning. Because he said the Raritan was, there's stripers in the Raritan. You burn the spot. There's stripers in the Delaware Bay. Oh, the whole bay's ruined. Like, come on, dudes. Like, God. And it's a select few people. It really is. And I'm telling you another thing comes a spot burn like I could be literally fishing next to people okay I have a buddy of mine I could literally be fishing next to him and he is slaying fish slaying fish and I'm like what the I'm doing the same thing and, and I can't catch and vice versa there's times I've had buddies are next to me and I'm lighting them on fire and they're just not catching so just because you think you figured out somebody's area and you happen to get into that area you still got to find the fish and you still got to have the tactics, techniques, and tips, and skill set to catch them. So let's go with the Urban Dictionary definition of spot burning. The Urban Dictionary says when someone ruins your secret fishing spot. Well, I'm not spot burning if we go by that definition. I'm showing you the areas I fish. If I tell you I'm at the TI Reef in front of Avalon and, and Sea Isle. I didn't tell you ex my coordinates. I didn't tell you the exact piece of structure I'm over. 
I didn't tell you, you know, I'm over the uh, the, the the Mary Lou, uh, the, the the northwest corner of the Mary Lou, you know, wreck or whatever. No, sit out on the TI reef, fishing structure or fishing drop-offs or whatever. Um, if I'm showing you guys a video, we'll go with the stripers right now, where I'm at. I told you, I'm in Atlanta County. Atlanta County is a pretty big county. There's a lot of inlets. There's a lot of tidal, tidal waters, tidal rivers. If you think that's spot burning, well, it's not. I'm not sharing somebody else's secret fishing spot. And let's define secret, right? I didn't write it down, but we all know what a secret is. If you think, we'll go with the Delaware Bay. The Delaware Bay is a secret spot. You're crazy. The Cape May Reef, is that a secret spot? I'm out of the Cape May Reef and I'm, you know, we were really slaying fish, uh, slaying, slaying some really good keeper size flounder out here at the Cape May Reef. Oh, you're spot burning. It's a big reef, guys. You know what I mean? And listen, I know some of you are probably sitting there going, Bob, you shouldn't even be making this video. It's, it's you're wasting your time because we don't listen to those ding-dongs about, oh, you're spot burning, you're spot burning. I get it, guys, but I'm telling you, I got charged up with somebody, some, some troll that had to just come on and be like, Spot burner. You're a spot burner. Come on. Like, grow a set. Grow, grow, a, grow, a, grow a set of jig heads, will you, for Christ's sake? All right, so then there's another definition of spot burning, and this one I may be guilty of by definition. Bringing attention to specific fishing opportunities which result in excessive fishing. You guys kind of know where I flounder fish. I'm kind of hard to hide sometimes some of the background. I really don't hide it. I'm like, I'm making videos. Like, I'm not trying to hide the background. I'm not blurring stuff out. Um, uh, again, bringing attention to specific fishing opportunities causing excessive fishing. I haven't seen anything really get too excessive where I fish for flounder. Um, and believe me, guys, I'm pretty sure... There's people that have been fishing that area and all these other areas that we all like to fish for decades and generations, long before I came around, social media came around, YouTube came around, and people started videoing their uh, their trips and their expeditions. So if I said, uh, you know, I caught them, uh, and listen, I don't know Ocean City. I don't know what, what one of the bridges are out there. I caught it at the 10th Street Bridge uh, on the incoming tide on the uh, the west side. All right, listen, that that's now you're burning a spot. Like, I mean, you you really can't get more specific than that. I don't even know if what I just said even exists in the world, but I know you hear a lot of guys will talk about you know their bridge fishing expeditions and whatnot. So, listen, some people you gotta lighten up. If, if you're going to sit there and all you're going to do is go on on social media and you're going to troll, troll, troll. And all you have to, to offer in life is, you're a spot burner, you burn that spot. I'll be quite honest with you, you have my sympathy, okay, or my empathy. Whichever the one means, I really don't give a flying flugy about you, but I could feel bad for you because you got nothing else going on. Whatever, whatever that one is, sympathy, empathy, you get it from me. You know, that would be like accusing the, 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 the one in, you know, listen, we all know the guy I follow, right, Mr. Skinner. Uh, oh, he's, you know, he, right now his latest videos to thank God for those videos during the winter because they keep me sane. Um, you know, he's always oh, in Southwest Florida. Like, yeah, you know, you know how big that area is that he's out fishing or when he's back up home and he's fishing Peconic, uh, I'm in Peconic Bay or we're over in, in, in whatever shoals. They're huge. Same thing with, with, you know, uh, Captain John Halkey's jigging jerks in his videos. You know, he gets, he gets clobbered about, oh, you're spot burning. Spot burning. You're out at the, whatever shoals and whatever Nantucket shoals or whatever else is up that way. Like, you're not spot burning for God's sake. It's a big area. Go out and find fish. And I know guys, listen, they've been fishing for years and they just, they're just not good at it. Okay. There was a time I wasn't just, I wasn't really good at it. And because of guys, and this is going to segue right into why I make videos, because of guys like Skinner, because of back in the day when I freshwater fished and guys like 
Phil Dance. And listen, none of these guys are watching my videos, so I'm not getting anything for saying their names, but this is who I grew up with. I'm 51 years old. These are the guys that I'm going to always pay homage to. It's like the Vietnam vets that were on the force when I got hired at the police department. I pay homage to the old guys, okay? Skinner, I'm sorry, you're not an old guy, but, well, maybe. Bill Dance, Roland Martin, Jimmy Houston, Hank Parker. I learned to freshwater fish for bass and pickerel and catfish because of those guys. You know, that's why they made those videos. And, and they, listen, they made a major life, you know, uh, career out of it. So I learned because of those guys. If what I'm doing by making my videos can bring a little bit of knowledge and help somebody out, whether it be the, the, the rig I use for flounder fishing, because I'm going to tell you, I've never caught more flounder in my life until I started using this rig. By me using that rig, I discovered that rig back in 2014 watching Mr. Skinner's videos. So, I, 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 I don't know what else to say other than, besides thank you, but what he did helped me become better at what I do and what I love and what I'm enjoying. So, that's why I'm showing you guys these things. And I, you know, I'll tell you, well, I learned this off of this such and such video or this, 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 you know, th this instructor or this individual or that individual. I'm not saying, oh, Bob Stavola, beast out fishing. I, this is mine. I, I invented this. Nope. Nope. I am taking what I learned. I tweak things a little bit. We talked about this. Like I put a swing hook, um, swing hook uh, on my, on my tsunami uh, one ounce uh, fluke ball uh, in glow because I got a glow. On, on my ball jigs, right? So I put I put a swing hook on there now. I don't use a, uh, a standard hook. Although I'm telling you right now, I'm talking about swing hooks, offshore, deeper water, out at the wrecks, ocean flounder, I think I'm, I'm getting, rid of the, getting rid of the swing hooks because I really found, uh, my buddy and I both, we found out that I think we lost more fish because once that flounder starts doing his head shakes, the hook goes this way. But meanwhile, that four ounce of lead whips the other way, and we've had a lot of fish get pulled. That's a video for another day. So, why I make videos by Bob Stavola, Beast Out Fishing, right? Um, listen, I enjoy fishing. I want to share my experiences with you, okay? I love being out there. I love being trying to be successful. I love when things work out. My dog is about to jump on me, so just if I start yelling or if I go down like a house of cards, it's because my pit bull just plop, pum, uh, pummeled me. But I love being out there fishing. I, I, I'm at peace with the world when I'm out there fishing. And um, I want to share that with you. I share that with my friends. I love having my friends on board. You see a lot of my videos, I'm out there by myself. Not everybody has the time off that I do. I'm retired. I just got very lucky in life. I retired early. So I love being out there. I love to take my nephew out there. I love taking my buddies out there. I love sharing that excitement with you. I love sharing the tips, the methods, the techniques, the ideology, the fish handling. I love sharing all of that with you. Just talking with one of my uh, fellow officers that I uh, that I work with, and he retired a year uh, year after I did. And he likes to fish in. Uh, that's my dog scratching his neck and making his <laughs> making his collar jingle. So long and short. Um, he was just talking to me. He's like, yeah, listen, I, I, I need some help with, you know, flounder fishing. So, yeah, no problem. I mean, he has a son, okay? And his son's a high schooler and his son's an awesome kid. And if I can help him and his son go out there and have a great day on the water and catch flounder and be more successful, let me tell you what, you can say I spot burn and whatever burn and this burn and, you know, turn and burn all you want. That, to me, made every ounce of effort I put into these videos and doing what I do, made it all worthwhile. So, again, so, you know, to, to share my experiences, to teach, again, more, I'm more so passing on information as opposed to teaching, but, you know, I am teaching in, in, in retrospect, to inspire. If I'm out there and I'm telling you guys, I'm out here, I'm catching them, I had a great day, I just, you know, I got... 15, 20 flounder today in the back. Um, we banged up the trigger fish in the tog out on a, on a wreck. You know, get out there. 
If I'm inspiring you to go and to get out there to go fishing, and I'm inspiring you to do better, then, you know, my work here is done. Cue the angels, right? So, it fills my time. I am retired, and I'll be honest with you, it gives me something to do. It's a hobby. Fishing's a hobby. Boating's a hobby. I'm doing these videos. This is now a hobby, and it's a hobby that I, um, I enjoy it, like I talked about, and I want to share with you guys. Memorializes. Oh, my gosh. It memorializes my days out on the water. So we could all take pictures um, of our fish and, and of our catches and whatnot. But you know what? Now I have videos that I can go back on and my friends that were out with me can go back on and they can watch them over and over and over again to build up the views, to jack up the algorithms, and maybe I'll get a sponsor and actually make a dollar doing this because I'm not doing anything. But, but anyway, it, it's like it memorializes things. You know, it memorializes the day out there. Uh, you saw the one time I was out there uh, with the girl I was seeing at the time. We were out catching trigger fish, and she was clobbering me. Um, it memorializes that. It, it was a great time. She had a great time. It, it was fun. I'm out there with my nephew catching his first this or first that the other couple weeks ago. Not only did he catch his first striper, which is eternally memorialized on YouTube, my YouTube channel, then he topped it off with the biggest striper to hit the decks of, of the off course, my boat. And the biggest fish he's ever caught. It's memorialized. I got a buddy of mine that I've been baptized, I was baptized with back in South Philadelphia 51 years ago. And we have we had a banner day out last year where we were we were clobbering fish within 40 yards of where we put in. It just so happened I turned on the the the, the uh, fish finder. Instead of, you know, the GPS, because a smaller unit, I flipped over. I'm like, oh, my God, we're, we're over top of them. We're not going anywhere but right here. And we destroyed the fish. It, it was, he basically turned around and goes, this is the best day I've ever had fishing in my life. You know what? It's memorialized. So, guys, these are, these are the reasons. These are the reasons I do what I'm doing. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And, you know... There's going to be trolls. And everything we do, there's going to be trolls. There's going to be naysayers. There's going to be guys that are going to try to sweep your feet out. I dealt with it at work. I've dealt with it now. I play social media, YouTube, the whole nine yards. Listen, smoke. One second, Smokey. Sit. Sit. Be a good boy. Two times I had to tell him to sit. Uh, but long and short... I dealt with all that, and you know what? And I'll deal with it until the day I'm sure I have breath in my breath in my lungs. But at the same token, if that's the best you got, and all you have to do is troll social media and cast disparaging remarks on on the guys that are out here that are that are enjoying what they're doing, making these videos, um, and, and trying to make fishing better for all of us and make you a better fisherman, if that's all you got. Man, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I, I do. I feel sorry for you. I really do. So that's all I got right now. I uh, am hoping to go out fishing next Wednesday. Um, it's going to blow uh, hard. And um, it's also going to get bitter cold uh, Sunday into Monday. So today is Friday. Today is Friday the 25th of March. And uh, so I'm looking to get out next Wednesday. The winds look like they're going to die down. I'm hoping there's no rain. And uh, hopefully I can get a buddy or two to go out with me. If not, I'll pull a solo trip like I did last year on the river in Atlanta County. And um, I'll burn a spot or two. So, um, again, guys, my subscribers over the last uh, three weeks worth of videos, subscriptions have gone way up. Uh, that would be my dog shaking the camera. Subscriptions have gone uh, gone up pretty good, and I can't thank you enough. Um, I just joined, uh, and I want to forget the name of it, the Atlantic City Anglers Club, Saltwater Anglers Club. And um, I am over the moon happy and excited to see What's going to come of uh, having a membership in this in this uh, in this club? 
They have a lot of events I'm seeing, uh, a lot of uh, fun competition, barbecues, the whole nine yards. So I'm looking forward to meeting, you know, the members. I'm looking forward to learning from them, and I'm looking forward to sharing my tips with them, you know, and what I'm doing. So let's hope, let's hope and pray that it's a, uh, a good, safe, healthy 2022. And uh, the only the only bug we catch is the bug to go fishing. So, guys, if you like these videos, enjoy this content, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. Leave a comment. Tell me how I just burned a spot. I love that. Go fishing.